Welcome to day two of um, VBS Crafts. Today we're going to talk about um, the Olympic rings. Have you ever seen the five Olympic rings and wondered? I wonder what those stand for. Um, I'm going to scoot up a little closer so you can see. Do you see how these are all different colors? Um, they represent all the different continents that compete in the Olympics. So that's what we're going to make today. But first, I'm going to read you a little bit about what the Olympic rings stand for. There are five interlaced rings of equal dimensions in different colors. Blue, yellow, black, green, and red. They express the activity of the Olympics and the union of the five continents meeting around the world. Europe, Asia, Africa, America, and Oceania, which is typically Australia and some smaller countries and islands. Today we're going to make our own Olympic rings, and when you're finished with your rings, I want you to think about all the ways the people of God's earth are interwoven, just like the rings. So what you need um, from your little VBS supply list today is an empty toilet paper roll and a tape measure or a ruler. Um, today we're going to use markers. You can use paint. Parents, if you're okay just getting your paints out and you kind of want them and you've got some time, you can um, use paint. Just make sure you have a red, green, black, blue, and yellow paint colors and a paintbrush. And the reason I put the wax paper on there um, is because that's a great place to let it sit and dry because it won't stick to the wax paper. So um, feel free if you have time to use paints, but just for the sake of um, time, we're going to use markers for this one. So what I want you to do first is to take your toilet paper roll. You might not use all of it, but I want you to find your ruler and find a one inch measurement. And I want you to do five one inch lines on your toilet paper roll. So Van, I'm gonna have you use this pen. Actually, it might be smart to measure your toilet paper roll first. This one's actually a little smaller than the last one we had. This is only four inches and you need five rings. So you might, if it's, if it's too short, you might wanna do like a half an inch. Um, this one's a lot smaller, so um, just make sure you have um, enough space to do five rings. But they all need to be equal measurements, okay? So that's a half an inch there. Just mark that. Okay, and then that's another half an inch there. Half an inch. That's a half an inch. Is there any people using this? Pop measures. Okay, just this. And that. One, two, three, four, and one more. So can you hand me in your paper? Okay, so I'm going to come closer up so you can see. Do you see how he just did five equal lines? So again, you don't have to use all the whole toilet paper roll. And then you're going to take your scissors. So um, then you can just start cutting on each ring. It's okay to bend it a little bit to get it cut. Like that? Mm-hmm. Push it all the way back into your scissors. There you go. Whoops, our cat's coming to stay 